Okay, we're gonna test the VFD now. First, we're gonna supply it with 460 volts. We've got it connected via the test cables, going to the three leads as well as the ground. Here are the three connections that are going currently to a centrifugal pump. And we're using a pressure transducer over here, slightly different than the one that's used on a CPEX. We're gonna energize the unit by turning on the switch. Okay. It's gonna go through this and it's in the stop mode now. So we're just gonna turn it on. I have it currently set for 20 PSI. So it's telling that we're trying to target 20 PSI. Now, the system right here actually has 20 PSI. This is a big centrifugal pump. I'm gonna open up this top valve, because right now we've got it deadheaded. So the pressure is going to drop. And as the pressure drops, you can see that the VFD is starting to speed up and trying to accommodate that pressure. As it approaches 20 PSI, this is here, the system slow down. This is going to be working just fine. A little bit over 20 PSI, but it's gosh darn close. Now I'm going to raise the pressure by closing this discharge valve. Pressure is higher than 20, so you hear the pump slowing down, trying to track to that 20 psi. Pretty close. I'm going to come over here to the panel and using the up arrow, change it to 25 psi. Whoa! Twenty-five psi, and we can see from the gauge they were tracking pretty gosh darn close to the twenty-five psi. I'm going to again open up the valve to lower the pressure, and it should speed up the VFD. And you can hear the VFD speeding up, but it's not able to, even at its highest RPM, it's not able to accommodate that pressure. So it's just beyond the capabilities right now of the system. I'll choke back this to near deadhead and let's see what happens. It's slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. And you can hear the VFD is operating at much lower hertz. I'm going to actually close the discharge valve. Eventually it should reach that 25 PSI and it should go to sleep. And you can hear the VFD slowing down. So it seems to be working just fine.